Clock at six. Paul kicks to Freak. Jumper off the screen. And a great assist by Here's Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Udo with the ball. He's picked up by Paul. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And the rejection by Udo. Pass to Jacobs. And stolen by Freak. And now it's Burks running. He can go all the way. That's good. And now it's a 12-point Clipper lead. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Clippers. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Gallinari, he's checked in for Alec Burks. Here's Tam. Offensive rebound. Paul. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And through the first half, a per... And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. Just absolute domination in this one for Freak. He has 14 points, and he's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. And it also tells you just how high his basketball IQ is. I mean, seeing plays develop before anyone else does on the court. And on the floor for Nate McMillan starting the second half, we've got Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and it's Cruz in at the five spot. They double him with Freak. Here's Logan. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Here's Tam. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. 16 points for Freak. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense. It's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. He dishes it to Paul. Banked in off the glass. And the Clippers lead by 18. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Puts up the baby hook. Yes. And that one's good. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Riven sets the screen for Paul. Here's Tam. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. You know the pass to Logan. Over to the wing. Here's Jacobs, and Griffin sends it back. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Here's Tam, and a miss there on the triple. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. The pass to Logan. No one near him. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his third rebound tonight. Gallinari in the corner. There's the dish to Freak. Shoots the three. Count the bucket. Freak's got seven points for the quarter. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. You know the pass to Logan. Baseline J on the way. And he goes in for the dunk. And guys, isn't it great to see a player who, who works that hard on the glass at both ends? Well said, G. That's the way he has built, you know, his reputation. Clark grinding away 100% effort all the time. And you know, Kevin, all that effort pays off. How many of those spectacular putback jams do we see from this guy? A bunch. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. We gotta be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way. A different look for the Clippers. 
get into them on the Los perimeter. Angeles making a change here Post. as well. Freaks Rotate check in for Jordan. Mavericks trail stuff. by 20. Kicks to Grant. So soft. There's the screen. And stolen by Freak. And here we go. Freak heading to the hoop. Had the opportunity on the break, but couldn't sink the three. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. And Muhammad gets it to go. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. 102 left to play in the third. Griffin, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Here's Rhodes. And a pig pounds off the rim, but it sinks right in. He has six. You know, that's how you do it, guys. I mean, he passed his way out of the double team and into an easy basket. Here's Tam. Off target with his three. Mavericks trail by 17. Here's Grant, and he slams it one-handed. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. The tray, and down it goes. Three-pointer falls in from Freak. Freak's got 10 points in just the second half. Dishes to Hudson. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Assist from Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. Inside, it's Griffin and Jordan. Hall out there with Freak, and it's Gallinari in at the small forward position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. And that one's good. Freak. And he is the ultimate when it comes to being a floor leader on the offensive end. Yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of Greg Anthony in him. And he has been that leader today. Um, I think he's done a really nice job of moving the ball and, and distributing it the way it needs to be done. Yeah, well, Clark, I'm glad you referenced uh, specifically why you thought he had a little Greg Anthony. I thought you were talking about the knees. <laughs> he, uh, he looked a little hobbled out there for a moment. Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was ultra safe with that dunk. No reason not to be. And guys, as he should be, remove all doubt on that attack. And here are the Clippers now, following the score by Dallas. He kicks it to Jordan. An easy two points on the layup. Oh, I love that dish down low. Mavericks trail by 16. They double him with Freak. Here's Kid Gilchrist, and that one's good. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. He's showing no signs of letting up here. The Mavericks have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. They set the pick. Logan, the pass to Kid Gilchrist. Here's Logan. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. In the second half, they've made more of an effort to get it inside, and I like that. Be intentional. Be direct. Be aggressive. Force that ball in the paint. Clippers leading by 14. Stolen. How the Mavericks moving it up. Ball going up. Oh! Major League big boy throwdown right there. And he keeps a tight grip on that rim after the finish. Yeah, and maybe that'll give them a little bit of that swagger that they seem to have lost. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. Here is Udo. The Clippers get in the bucket. And the foul called on Freak. That's his third foul of the game. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. 
That makes it four turnovers for him now. He's just been lazy with the ball in his hands, fellas. The three. The Clippers keep it alive. And it's Jordan with the jam. Nice job cleaning some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. You know, Kevin, you can't be pretty, though, with those second chance opportunities. I mean, just put it in the basket. Now here's Paul. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. Here is Udo. Can they get it? Golinari with the rebound. And that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't rise up over the top of him when he's on you. To the middle. Here's Cruz. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Burks, he's checked in for Chris Paul. Clippers leading by 17. Burks kicks to Freak. And it's off from three-point range. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Here's Logan. His three-pointers off the mark. Los Angeles has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Here's Tam. And the shot falls short this time. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Misses the baby hook. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for Los Angeles. They found a great rhythm from long range. They sure did, Kevin. Every time they left the man open deep, he'd get a good look at the basket and they didn't hesitate and the aggressiveness paid off. And what a huge standout performance it was for Freak. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by Dallas. Well, if it wasn't out of reach, it is now, thanks to that last little spurt. And why put the brakes on now? I just say keep on letting it fly. Here's Logan. Here's Udo. Good on the triple. And this run not really doing them any good at this point, as late as it's starting to evolve. Yeah, but kudos to him, Greg. I mean, the fight they're showing now, you got to give them credit for that. Would have been really easy to pack it in. Jordan dishes to Griffin. Second shot opportunity, and it drops once again. The bucket from Freak. Freak's got 36. And that's just a little more for these fans to cheer about as they get ready to celebrate a W. Well, let the party start. The celebration begins, and they're going to let their guys hear it. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him and down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. You know, Freak was a 4.0 honor student growing up. And tonight, that high IQ is one of the things we saw on display with that sensational performance. Combine his smarts with the fact that he lives and breathes basketball, there's no doubt that he's one of the most intelligent players we have in this league. Starting out the series, this is a huge win to go up 1-0. He gave them the energy and effort they needed. Huge performance, and what a time to do it. If he can keep up this effort, Ernie, boy, oh boy, oh boy. And we are still early in the postseason. There's more round one action of the NBA playoffs coming your way. For Shaq and Kenny the Jet Smith and Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew. Good night, everybody.